So guys, we're heading back to Canada here and on my way back, the airplane just seems a little bit too loud. So we went to a vending machine, we picked up a true wireless ear pod. This is the EP-T10. Uh, I don't know how good it is, but it's pretty expensive uh, from one of those Best Buy vending machines. And we're gonna pair it with the AirPods right over here. Now, of course, this is no match for what this is. However, the AirPods Pro, that one's the competitor, but we're gonna test this out against the AirPods Pro once we get back home. Anyways, let's just jump straight in and unbox this real quick and check it out um, before we start heading on the plane over here. Now we're just gonna little cut this little slip right over here. And then that should be enough for us to just peel back and let's take a look inside. We have the key series, odd key, true wireless earbuds. After a little bit of fiddling here, we finally got the little notch. So it's, uh, it takes a little sliding out right over here. Um, pretty simple. It looks like a really sweet design for a box in either case. One, two, three, boom. And then we have an odd key emblem right up top. And inside here, wow, we're presented with the odd key. All right, so just taking a look at the inside, it doesn't look as sleek as the original AirPods Pro or the AirPods box, but in either case, it's pretty solid, I gotta say. We have the case right here, which, uh, Seems a little bit more plasticky than what it is on this one over here, but we'll set this aside. Just keep in mind, guys, this is sort of a small comparison video. It's not a full review of this yet. We have the earbuds, which is nice. Another earbud right here, and I do really like the emblem at the back right here much more than I do with this one. So let's just unbox this one real quick. I'll pull one of these out. And yeah, this is very simple. Nothing very interesting with it, whereas this one has a little shiny piece to it showing the odd key. Um, the key series uh, emblem, I guess. We're gonna test this out in a few seconds here. And here we are inside the case itself. Let's see how we unbox this. And let's, uh, I think we're twisting it. We're twisting it. We have the light indicators here, I'm assuming. Okay, so um, obviously I'm not very familiar with this case. It's pretty simple in the end. <laughs> the, the pods go inside this little uh, area right here. And let's check this out. So we have the contact points right over here and then all we need to do is just slap it in slap it in and it sucks in just like the airpods you twist this and it hides it i pretty much almost damaged the case because there's no uh, indication of if this opens up completely or not one thing i do gotta say is at the back here it did say it came with a lot of different points uh ear pieces as well as the usb type c i don't see it yet maybe it's underneath here likely underneath here we should be seeing something else there you go this is a usb type c which is really great compared to the AirPods, which uses the Lightning. Um, this is so old-fashioned now. They look pretty much identical, to be honest, but it doesn't fit into the other, obviously. Let's see if the other side has uh, more connectors or anything, pretty much. So yeah, great. Exactly as advertised. Best Buy, you're doing pretty well on your vending machines. Probably not gonna be using these very much, but it has these uh, ear wings as well to keep it in place. I don't think it looks as sleek as the AirPods. I never had a problem uh, taking this out or uh, it staying in my ears to begin with so these might be unnecessary anyways I'm gonna test it out on the iPhone obviously and uh, see how does the connecting work alright guys so uh, the setup is pretty simple all you need to do is just slide it open to this notch right over here take one of these out and it should start blinking right up top here and uh, just when I'm about to take it out it totally turns off but here we have the two brand new ear pods. Do we even call them ear pods? I don't know, a copyright of Apple. So we have the iPhone over here. Let me just drop down the brightness a little bit so it's easier to view. After a few seconds, we should be seeing Odd Key EP T10. We'll click onto that and it should automatically connect. We have Odd Key EP T10 just over here. And guys, this does have tap control just like the AirPods as well. It's a uh, water resistant wireless charging and it has 24 hour battery life uh, really really good all right guys so uh obviously for copyright reasons i totally forgot i can't really play it for you guys otherwise this video is just gonna be pretty much useless but i'm gonna be putting it in my ears right next to the airpods and let's check it out and see how it performs all right guys so we have the airpods right over here as well as the t10 and uh, the form factor is very different from each other. One is a little bit bulky. The other one is a lot more slim. They both have tap control and that's really amazing. That's one of the features that you really need in your wireless ear pods. However, after putting it in my ear, I obviously found out that the weight difference, this one is a lot thicker and a lot heavier than this one over here. Uh, and this one does require those wings in the end. So uh, dropping it in, you guys will see that it doesn't stick very well on this one. Whereas this one right here just really wants to pop out a lot of time. You really need those wings in place. Um, in terms of battery, 
see as you guys can see it completely dropped out right there so without the wings that these won't work and it just looks a lot more cumbersome just to get this on and then having to take the wings out and it putting it back in the case every single time so i think there's a win for the airpods there and i'm not trying to be biased here i think this one uh, is obviously the price difference uh, this one comes in at 130 canadian dollars whereas the airpods come in obviously upwards of 200 bucks now we do have the chill hits running in the background here and with the ept10 i do notice that it's a lot clear a lot more uh, deep in bass compared to the airpods now obviously this is because this is an in-ear version compared to the airpods uh comparing to the earpods pro i think it is very substantial um you're talking about 400 dollars versus 100 dollars. so in the end guys this is going to work for me in terms of what i'm going to be using it for on the airplane but when it comes to the ease of use and just the overall usability of it i do give credits to the airpods pro and apple they made a really good job of it and it doesn't require anything to be done to uh, just have it in your ear. It just sticks there compared to uh, this T10 right here. But anyways, guys, uh, we're going back to just taking a look at it on the camera here. And uh, the design is a lot nicer, of course, on the Apple EarPods compared to this one. But uh, Apple, you know, they're just Apple. And this one is just this one right here for 100 bucks. So in the end, guys, good quality. Uh, you're getting your bang for your buck, I guess, with this one right here from the Best Buy vending machine. But uh, it's not something you guys want to pick up and use on the daily. The casing is pretty nice, a lot bulkier as I uh, as I mentioned earlier, and compared to the AirPods Pro, where it's even uh, you know a lot slimmer than this one, it does seem quite a bit hefty. So as you guys can see right over here, again guys, just dropping it in the case seems pretty simple in the end. Closing it seems pretty simple. I do like the firm um, feel of it when it snaps in, but other than that, guys, it's not the best looking thing. Um, I wouldn't be carrying this around quite as much as i would with the airpods right over here but anyways just a quick little video guys for you guys to see what this ept10 limitless uh airpods is like uh, this should wrap it up for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys did make sure you guys hit that subscribe button that bell notification and peace out